When I grow up, I want to be a teacher. When I grow up, I want to be a robot. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. When I grow up, I want to be a monster. When I grow up, I want to be alive. Behind the beautiful tropical beaches of Jamaica, is a nation deeply troubled by violence and crime. The gunman shot the father and mother. With the second highest rate of gun killings anywhere in the world, communities live in constant fear. Just to be alive might seem like a simple dream to us, but for many of Jamaica's youth born into the ghettos, they know the chances are high that they will not make it past their 30th birthday. Thankfully, with your help, the Catholic Church is offering these precious young people a positive alternative. A future where they can be fully alive. These are the little girls who come and play around. Sister Teresia Tanana Solo is a Fijian Marish missionary sister living and working in Mount Salem, Montego Bay. Such nice, close. Mount Salem is one of Jamaica's most perilous communities, which is overrun with gangs, drugs, violence and crime. Sister Teresia knows the daily terror of the people well. It's not an unusual thing early in the morning to hear guns shooting. And you're doing all right at school? You work hard, all right? They go to somebody else's home and try to kill. And uh, so life becomes very cheap here. And I feel I'm a prisoner here day and night. In the midst of the constant danger and threats to her life, Sister Teresia gains strength from her faith in Jesus to live out her calling to reach out and give life to those in desperate need. Sister Teresia, along with her fellow sisters, run the Holy Family Self-Help Center which offers vital vocational skills training in cooking, hospitality, sewing, literacy, computers, and housekeeping to provide the community with opportunities for a positive and hope-filled future. Many of the graduates find employment in Jamaica's growing tourism industry. We're equipping them and empowering them to go out and earn better uh, income, but uh, also to feel their self-worth, that they can do something. For so many of them, they've never really had full education. Let's see how this is cooked. $390. Denise is just one of the many successful graduates who have secured stable, paid employment thanks to her training at the Holy Family Self-Help Center. Denise and her husband Paul are now desperately trying to save so they can move their three children away from their squatter's home in the Mount Salem ghetto to a much safer neighborhood Shall we pray? Join our hands where they don't have to live in relentless fear for the safety and future of their beautiful children. This has become more urgent since their home was firebombed and now that many of their neighbors are being violently targeted. I am scared for them. It is very dangerous. You have kids <laughs> and gunshot can catch them. My God is awesome. Sometimes you have guys that want to target your girls. I do not want my little boy to grow up to be a good man either. You can't sleep in the bed, you have to go under the bed. Right back here, like a gunshot. Hours, gunshot, gunshot, gunshot. Having lived his entire life in this ghetto, constantly struggling against the lure of destructive influences, Paul is a living testament to the vital outreach work of the Catholic Church. He believes that against all odds, the Church has helped their family stay together and choose a better path in life. Without the support of the sisters and his family's strong faith, he believes he would most certainly be dead 
like many of his childhood friends. Some say if he wasn't for sisters, I would die a long time ago. With the everyday prevalence of violence, it is easy for children here to mirror the same behavior. Sister Teresia is desperate to break this cycle by also offering non-violence education to the youth in the community. Children don't have any role models. All they see is that the violence that goes on. And so if they themselves are trained and to be able to know that it is wrong to kill, to steal, to um, fight and to bully, that it would help the, the general community and prevent uh, a lot of killing that are unnecessary. We want more in this world's got to walk. Sister Teresia urgently needs our help to set up and run non-violence courses and to continue the essential skills training courses. Together, these will have a huge impact on providing a positive future for the youth in the most desperate areas of Jamaica. Your gift today will also support the work of missionaries like Sister Teresia, enabling them to reach out and offer vital practical and spiritual support to communities in desperate need. I urge you, please help the people of Jamaica and other struggling communities across the world turn away from violence and crime. Help them today to seek a new future through the power of education and the spirit of Jesus Christ. Together, we can help the youth of Jamaica fulfill their dreams, to grow up, to be fully alive. All I want for the future for them is for them to have a good education and to live a better life. Oh. Chanel, she wants to be a teacher when she grows up in the future. And Rolando, he wants to be a police or a soldier. <laughs> And Monique, <laughs> she don't make up her mind yet, but she, she said she wanted to be a friend. Yeah. <laughs>